Hey guys, welcome back to Park Tech University. And this lesson is going to be part two of our shapes endeavor that I've started. And this episode is going to be about making vehicles out of our shapes and how I d dictate or how I decide how a vehicle should look or what pieces I use. So I'm going to build something very simple just to get us started, just to show you my basic thought of a vehicle. So I'm going to pick like a very simple pickup truck. And so let's just, I'm just going to get in right in the building here. So let's see here. The first thing that I need to do before anything I'm doing that is require size or scale is then you get my skeleton out. And he's going to dictate how big my vehicle is going to be approximately to the height of the guests because this is very close to being a guest. And I'm going to try to make it as close as possible. Actually, if I look at the vehicles from in-game, these match actually pretty close to the height. Like he would have to bend down to get in the vehicle and be done and get in and drive away. So I'm going to use these as my references and I'm going to build a very simple pickup truck. So I think a pickup truck would be like, let's say, I don't know, a Ford type of tr pickup truck. So let's go figure out my wheels first. 0.25 might be too small, especially for a truck. So let's do maybe 0.30 and I'm going to maybe make it as big as two square units like so right here. So we're going to build it right here and actually I want to make this a little bit bigger. Let's make this 0.50. What does that look like? Oh 0.50 is way too big. That's not a proper truck size tire. That's like more like a construction vehicle. So 0.40 might be our size. That seems like it's too big. But I can kind of flub on things, but maybe point thirty-five is probably where we need to see. Yeah, let's sit there. So grid eight to kind of just get it into place. I can have it sinking or I can have it floating. I can have the feel it floating a little bit because honestly it's going to float a little bit. But I want to say like the vehicle's about let's say it's about that far in. No, I want it a little bit out. It's gonna be a little bit wider vehicle than usual. And then I want to place the back tires just about a couple yards away. About here seems comfortable to me. So there you go. We got ourselves our tires. Um, you don't have to do this for your build, but I do it anyway because it makes my life easier, especially when I'm trying to shape something. So I will actually make the axles and the like actual frame of the car just just because. because it's way easier for me to kind of get my head around the sense of how things go or how things are laid out so I'm gonna place these cylinders down to kind of suggest where I'm going like this okay if I don't like it I can always change it that's always a cool part about doing this now I feel like this pickup truck might be too big so I might have to make it smaller or a little bit small it's too wide, I think. So we're going to change that a little bit. And I'm probably gonna make the wheels a little bit bigger too. So we're gonna flood we're gonna fudge a little bit on the scaling part. So maybe 0.40 is where we're gonna go. This is gonna be just a little bit more heftier looking monster truck. Not monster truck, pickup truck. So it seems like I'm not okay, I'm in the same spot. So let's go about here. Feel like that's more proper, and we can maybe go in a little bit. Go like this. Oops, that's way too small. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to figure out where these sit in relation to. Yeah, there we go. That might be okay. Actually, no, I don't think it's. See, that's the, that's the p tough part about making vehicles, is that you're trying to find the scale of where those tires should sit. I think this is where the tires should sit was the old spot I had them. So let's just keep it like that and just moving on because this video would be an hour long if I actually kept being decisive. But hey, that's the kind of the nature of when you're building things like this is you get into this weird sense of, okay, do I like this? Do I not like this? Back and forth, back and forth. But that's okay. It's always kind of the point of the the build. And so right now I'm going to build the health caps for the vehicle. 
these are actually pretty simple. More uh, disc shapes and then a, a half hemisphere in the tire well. And there you go, we now have those. Now I need to figure out where the bumpers are going to be for the vehicle. So let's suggest that these sit about out here, here, and here. I'm thinking they're about going to be sit here. What's really cool about the pillars, these shafts from the... What's it called? Shoot, I know what these are. These are from the... Um, these are from the steampunk pack. Oh my gosh. They're, they can be off grid, which is really nice. And they're horizontal. So I do like that. And so now I have a good, good suggestion where they should sit. Maybe actually a little bit further. Let's use grid four a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now let's get into the actual shaping of the truck. Now I know that a tr pickup truck is very like L-shaped in its cab. Let's make this green because of why not. And we're going to pick a very simple size first, so point .50 is going to be the first one I'm going to try. I feel like this is too big for an engine block maybe. So you can see I'm just kind of messing with the shape. I'm trying to experiment where... So let's say that's the cab and then the the truck bed is in the back here like this. Ooh, see? See how that's like kind of, it's kind of migrating into a thing. And I do like how this is looking because I like that I use the roof as the, the, the storage bed for the truck. And then I'm going from there. I want to keep that up actually and make this a little bit higher and maybe a little bit forward. Now, my, my, keep in mind that this might be very crude looking. To me, it might be very crude because I, I, I'm building quite crudely. But I'm also trying to make sure that this video is not, you know, stupid long. But hey, it can be. It probably will be. Who knows? So, point twenty-five. I want to get these in at four, and just kind of get the truck to sit like this. And I think this is actually a little too... Actually, no, we can just kind of fudge a little bit. This is a very big truck. This is like a Jeep, but that's okay. You can kind of tell where I'm going with it. And actually, this might be okay. So let's just continue pushing forward. Some things might not always pan out, but in this case, it's kind of panning out. I'm also not looking at reference pictures. That always always helps. So I just remind you, get reference pictures when you're working on a project. That's always going to help you, especially in trying to design something from scratch. Especially like how what I'm trying to do, because I want to make sure that this is hub cap over, and then I'm going to pick do point fifteen, grid eight. I want to make sure that this is connected like this. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm, I can do this across the hub cap. Maybe not like that. Let's try doing the uh, smallest one is 10 on grid 10 and see if I can make a... Oh, a little bit better. Not the best. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just continue moving on because this is going to take a while. Let's just do some windows just to see what my basic idea would be. I know those were grid uh, 0.50, right? These were gigantic windows. Yeah, see that these are big. So I'm going to try to make them a little smaller and push them into the block. You can kind of tell how far it can go like this. I'm going to try to make them a little bit bigger and then kind of force it in by hand and then there's a window 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 window. So that's just the basic idea of a windows. Here, let's so we'll do these ones over here too. Man, this is one ugly truck. But it's okay. We're just just showcasing you the like the basics of what I would do. 
So especially like with the back of the truck. Actually, this could be a little bit longer, but I'm not going to mess with it. So let me just finish this off with a... Oh, that's that, that, that breaks into that. So no, we're not going to do that. We're going to just do regular blocks. So I'm just going to make the truck bed out of grid point 15 and go from there. So I don't know if you guys are hearing that Discord sounds. I might have that disabled or not. So if you hear discount Discord sounds, I'm sorry for that. So you might get confused. I've been trying to record this video all day, and so I don't. I forgot to maybe turn off Discord. Oopsies! I forgot. I deleted that. My bad. So there's the connection between that and there. And then I want to add some headlights. Let's use actually shapes this time for headlights. Let's do. Cylinders, no, hemis hemispheres, and this is grid 18, point 0.18, no, let's do point 0.15, point 0.15 is probably the better one to choose from. There's one, there's two, hand placed in, okay, that doesn't look bad. Now when you make the grill, and the grill can be any piece you want, honestly, it could be anything from, from shapes, or I like using window pieces as my grills, because it's a flat piece, I can just have it sit out like this. And it kind of goes all the way down to the bumper. And then I also want to add some like detailing on top of the hood. So let's see if this piece is not too big. Because I just used this technique recently. Oh, that's too big. So I mean, I'm going to use a different piece. I'm going to use maybe this one. Let's do 0.15. This is a 45 degree vertical brick. And adding like a little blemish on top of the hood makes it look a little bit more interesting and darkening the color actually brings out it a little bit and helps with the blending in the shoe. And on the top of the truck I like to use where is that piece I like using? Oh there it is, the crate piece because it's rounded, like a rounded cube. I know there's a blue thing on it but we can easily hide that if we do this. So all we have to do is grid 8 and go across like this we're gonna try to hide most of it. See, there you go. It looks like the top of it's a different feel to it. Now I need to add some red lights in the back. And for a truck that I quickly put together, I don't think this is half bad. I give it like a seven, maybe an eight at most. But again, I was kind of quick enough on the pace because again, I'm trying to showcase what you can do in vanilla. But I'm also going to showcase to you some vehicles that I built off screen for my own play, uh, what, what I built. So I'm going to show you that basically now. So here's the vehicle so far with some better fine tuning and some more actually working on it. Because honestly, I've only sat here for a good 13 minutes working on it. There could be some better things about it. But the basic idea is to make, build a frame. Figure out your dimensions with the skeleton for your help, maybe using other props as references, pictures to help you out, and then get a rough rough layout of your vehicle, and then sit here and trim and do, do some detailing, changing colors, and your vehicle will grow into something that you actually you like. So let's go on to the first vehicle that I worked on off screen was a semi-truck. This is always fun. I love building semi trucks, especially for like a backstage area. So you can tell from here that I worked I worked about an hour and a half on this truck just to try to get the dimensions proper and some of the blocks to kind of fit together nicely and to use some interesting pieces. Like for example, this piece here is a window because I like that it's skinny. I can just sit here and just put it in and then there you go. Um, the mirror pieces are peppermints. And the grill is my favorite pieces that I used was this pyramid deco piece and I just stacked it on top. And then also with the top of the hood, I wanted that triangular bit. And instead of using cubes, I used a domer because it had a, just a different look to it. And I was just like, can I use this domer? And it, it fits quite well right there on top. So here's my semi-truck. I think this was works really well. This will be on the workshop, by the way. All my builds will be on the workshop. So next 
thing vehicle is a tugboat because I'm working on a new scenario right now and I felt like a tugboat would be very appropriate for said scenario and I wanted to see what boats would look like especially in vanilla and this actually worked out really well so most of the build is made of walls uh, more cubes uh, some candy pieces chocolate bars um, the ladder here is made of candy cane pieces stacked on top of each other and peppermint pieces again for those shiny bits and this is actually one of my favorite builds so far this week and I really do enjoy it so just changing the color will make it different or adding a different number will make it different but this is your typical tote boat and the cool thing about Parkitex non-textured items is that they can start blending into each other it's kind of like modeling you can kind of just blend bricks um, pieces together and it just kind of forms into a new piece like I'm making oval pieces out of uh, cylinders and cubes same thing with the windows it kind of worked out really well here okay the next vehicle is actually one of my other favorites this is a steam locomotive that I built about I want to say ooh, five months ago it was for a um, a coaster project that I did a while ago it's on the workshop as well but it was the sa same idea with any vehicle that I'm working on I made the track first these, these tracks are actually made of anvil pieces which is actually a pretty cool idea and then I just framed it out, kind of figured out where my wheels were going to sit and figured out how big my frame for the like the train would be and then I went from there. I used the skeleton as my prop to figure out scaling and voila there is a train. And I'm probably going to build more trains in the future honestly I love doing trains and so we'll you'll probably see more stuff. I may even make a scenario based on trains or something or some type of train yard but I like using the idea of using anvils as track. So I might have to figure out how to use those pretty more, I don't know, more interesting ways. Maybe with Freedom 2K I can make, 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 even make turn pieces, who knows. And the last vehicle, something I've never done in recent history, is making airplanes. And so here is a very simple plane. This is about, not as big as a, like a 747, but it's a little bit smaller. But it's one of the bigger vehicles out of all the stuff that I have worked on. So this actually worked out pretty well, especially with how the angled stuff for Parkitect's roofing, because the wings are made of roofs, and then I used my Mr. Skeleton here to kind of figure out my scale, and then kind of built this oblong shape. The nose probably could have been worked a little bit better. This is what the hard part about making planes, especially a jetliner, is to do this. But if I was a little bit, let's say, build a, I don't know, a biplane, it might be easier. Or some type of simpler plane versus this is the best I could do with noses. So it's half hemispheres and some spheres kind of into each other and then a disc for the windows. And it kind of worked out. I'm okay with that. And then these are smaller d cylinders for the windows. And then this thing, okay, so the, the tail was interesting because this is actually in the middle of a cube unit. Yeah, it's in the middle. Kind of made those out of window pieces. So that was fun. And then a sandwich cookie for the Happy Co symbol, because why not? This is a Happy Co plane, maybe. Maybe this is uh, Green Airlines or something. I don't know, something silly. But yeah, these are um, all the little builds that I did for shapes, shapes and vehicles. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I hope this episode helps in des describing how I do make vehicles out of shapes. And anything out of shapes in general. That's why this series is going to take some time to kind of delve deep into the shapes. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something new in this video on using shapes. Um, thank you guys for the support and watching my videos. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can. There's a link in the description below. Um, I want to thank my patrons for the continued support. And I'm going to actually post some special content on Patreon. I'm probably going to post the raw footage of me building this plane on Patreon just to give you guys something extra on there. I don't know if I need to... No, I'm probably going to keep it... I want to maybe make it into a somewhat of a small time lapse and then maybe some dialogue of me describing what I was trying to do and then there's the plan. I'm probably going to do those little more videos for the Patreon just to give it a little bit more interest. And yeah, this is basically Shapes Part 2. Shapes Part 3 will probably be about monsters and creatures 
and things of that nature. <laughs> so that will be exciting. I'm excited for that one. But yeah, I will um, leave you guys here and see you guys in the next Park Tech University. Bye.